This is a video to demonstrate the use of a TLC plate. TLC stands for Thin Layer Chromatography. TLC is a common analytical technique used in the organic lab. It can be helpful if you are trying to identify the components of a mixture or assess the purity of the sample. It is also used to monitor all reactions and purification. This video should help you familiarize with the basic technique. TLC plates are composed of a thin layer with a polar absorbent. Either silica or alumina, which has been bounded to a plate of solid support, generally plastic or glass, and in most cases, a fluorescent powder is also mixed with the absorbent to aid with the visualization, as you will see in later in the video. It is very important not to touch the silica side of the TLC, as this will cause contamination. Just use a pair of tweezers or forceps to handle your TLC plate. From the bottom of the plate, about 1 cm, draw an X spot where you will apply a spot of your sample. It is important that the spots are not too close to the edge of the plate or evaporation from the size of the plate will take place that will result in inconsistent results. It is also important that the spots are not too close together or you end up with overlapping spots after you develop the plate. The spots should be 1 cm apart and we should also mark a line for the solvent front. Always use a pencil to do this and not a pen. This is the TLC chamber. They can be assembled from a glass jar with a lid of piece filter paper. And you need about 5 to 10 ml of the appropriate developing solvent. Take one piece of the filter paper. Normally the size of the filter paper is a bit too big, so you have to use a pair of scissors to cut it. Trim off the sides. Insert it into the chamber. Put in the solvent. Caps on. And shake it vigorously. We have to make the whole filter paper moist. And the moist filter paper ensures that the air in the chamber is saturated with the solvent vapor. It will prevent the evaporation of the solvent from a TLC plate during development. Take up about one or two small spatula of the sample, insert it in a test tube. and dissolve in an organic solvent. Here we are using ethanol. Use about 0 0.5 to 1 milliliter of the solvent. Shake it to fully dissolve your solid. To apply the sample onto the TLC plate, we use a capillary tube. A capillary tube is a small glass tube with openings on both ends. Put the melting point tube has one end that's sealed. Insert the capillary tube into your solution sample. And then spot it onto the TLC plate starting line. Do it carefully. After you have applied the spot on the TLC plate, take a look under the UV light. So you can see that it is a violet color and your compound is there on the plate. So we have put enough compound on the plate for analysis. Okay, spot it. Okay. We need a small spot. They can't be large as they may overlap and cross lanes and we cannot do a good analysis on that. So we need to practice more to get it right. <laughs> Check it again under the UV lamp and you see that there are all three spots are in. So we are almost good to go. We will use the pair of forceps.
Always remember not to touch the surface that's coated with silica gel with your hand. Make sure the solvent is there. And make sure that the solvent height is less than the starting line of your TLC plate. Pick up the plate and place it in the chamber. Make sure that the level of the solvent is below the spots on the plate, or otherwise you will end up with a sample dissolved in the developing solvent. Caps on, try not to disturb the system, and do not let the edge of the plate touch the filter paper, as this will disturb the capillary motion of the solvent in the plate. Keep a close eye on the solvent front. Now see that your solvent is carrying your sample upwards, and the solvent front is a horizontal line. This is what you want to see. So we can analyze the RF value of a compound to see if it is there. The TFC plate should be placed slanting towards you, leaning on the walls of the chamber, not touching the filter paper. This is done so that you can observe the TFC better and inspect the solvent front to check when it's time to take the plate out. Do not let the solvent get closer than 5 to 10 millimeters from the top of the plate. When the solvent front gets too close to the top, evaporation from the top of the plate becomes a problem. The spots keep moving up the plate, but the solvent front appears to stop. This leads to incorrect RF values. Caps off. Remove the plate, and the solvent can dry off very quickly. When the content of interest is brightly colored, no extra steps is needed to be taken to visualize the spots. However, most organic compounds are colorless to us and cannot be seen on the TLC plate with the naked eye. Fortunately, most TLC plates contain additives that cause the plates to fluoresce under the UV light. Certain UV active compounds are capable of quenching this fluorescence. As a result, they appear as dark spots on the glowing TLC plate. A UV lamp such as this one is commonly found in the lab just for this purpose. So just place your plate under this lamp, turn it on, and mark the spot with a pencil. TLC data is not conclusive, and sometimes you need other data to support if your compound of interest is there. A and B have the same RF value, so they may be the same compound. C has a lower polarity, so it travels further up the plate. A and B are more polar, so it travels less on the TLC plate. These are the spots seen under the UV light. Now, we are going to place the plate in an iodine chamber. The iodine will stain and make some of the compounds colored so that we can see better with our naked eyes. Now we are showing you what a poor TLC example is. A is a case of overloading of compounds. That's why you see the tailing all the way from the starting line. B is not as bad, but it still originates from overloading of your sample at the starting line. Remember, if a spot is too big and concentrated, tailing will occur. Here, C is a very good spot, but it is difficult to conclude if B and C are indeed the same compound. Also, we can't be sure if B contains only one compound. It could be a mixture. This mixed spot could mean the overlap of two compounds with similar polarity. Thus, having a good TLC technique is vital in the chemistry lab to do a preliminary test to identify your compounds. The silica on the TLC plates are toxic, so you have to dispose them properly. The lab provides the used TLC plate dump, so make sure you put them there, and the lab officers will help to assist in the overall disposal. The used capillary tubes will be housed in a special beaker. Do not throw them into the bin as it may cause injuries. And finally, dispose your solvent in the non-chlorinated waste bottle.